into a glowy, dewy, cannot snap with this hand, goddess by doing our eyes. And I always like to do my eyes first just because I feel like if I make any mistakes or if there's any follows, I can always clean it up and, you know, we can get there. So I'm going to start off, I already did my eyebrows and I primed my lids. So I'm going to be using my contour kit and I'm going in with the brown shade that I always use to contour. And I'm just going to take this and wash it all over as my transition color. So going into my Trust Your Morphe palette and I seriously need some new palettes. You guys can leave suggestions down below um, of palettes you think I should get. I'm going into this color here and I'm just going to take this to further warm up the areas that I just put the first color. I really like layering colors on together because I feel like it gives me a really nice look. This color is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to tone it down with this peach. Just a little too dark for what I want it. I don't know if you can see, but it definitely toned it down a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deepen my crease. And then that'll be all the dark colors that we use for this look. So to deepen the crease, I'm going to go in with this color here. So I'm gonna go in with my underbrow highlights and because we want to be a goddess, a golden goddess, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm going to use this as my underbrow highlight. So what I really wanted to go for was like a semi-cut crease look. So I'm going to go in with some cream concealer. Because it's concealer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little setting powder, just a little, just to stop the creasing and then go over it with the actual color that we want. We're going to be using this old shiny palette that I have and this is the color that I'm going to be going in with. So right before I finish up my eyes, I like to go in and apply my primer just because when you give your primer some time to set into your skin, it works better. Your makeup lasts longer and if you're going to be a goddess, you want extended duration in your goddessness. So, because we want to be glowy and dewy, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my NYX foundation and my NYX liquid illuminator and I'm just going to be adding both of them to my face and then using and then blending in my foundation. So, I typically go with this first and I just put it all over my face. Come, come, 
staying in the NYX family and I'm going to be using the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and this is in the shade Glow and I'm just going to be using this as my under eye highlight. I have to say that slow. And then using one of these knockoff oval brushes I'm going to take this to blend it out. And I like to blend out the edges first and then go in. No comparison, she don't, she don't. So once we finish up the eyes, I'm going to set my face with some setting spray just to ensure that our highlight is that much more popping. And to start the Golden Goddess Transformation one, we're going to go in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. And I'm putting this all over the high points of my face because we are goddess. We got to glow. We got to glow. We come from the tropics. Let's go. So once I've done that, I'm going to go in with another highlight because it's layers and levels to this ish. You feels me? 
So we're gonna go in with the two darkest shades from the ABH um, Glow Kit and then I'm going over that again with the final highlight from Milani which is the Tantastic Bronzer and I'm going over all of the high points of my face and oh we gotta glow we gotta go we gotta glow we gotta glow <laughs> and I went in and did some collarbone contouring and all that ish my first time doing this I don't even know why but you know I wanted my shoulders to pop because we gotta be goddess we got we's a goddess let's go let's slay let's glow